Hey, today I'm going to show you how to change your Play Audio 12 from having 10 outputs with a headphone mix to having 12 separate outputs. Um, the big thing to think about when you're doing this is that there's a scene A and a scene B which have separate setups. So we'll have to look at that. So I'm in Oracle for X series. Um, I've done this video for iConfig and other softwares, but I figured it'd be good to do it in our new Oracle for X series software. So let's go into the audio tab for the Play Audio 12. And so the first thing we're going to do is we need to make this from a 10 output and a headphone mix to 12 outputs. So all you have to do to do that is click on this outputs button. You notice as soon as I switch from headphones to outputs, it went to um, it went to the 12 outputs. So now that we have that done, what we want to do is save it. This is the biggest kind of part of it. Before we switch to scene B and do the same change, we want to save it on the Play Audio 12. So to do that, we want to click in on the knob on the front of the Play Audio 12. Uh, when we do that, we're going to get all the LEDs are going to flash twice to show that you've saved. So I'm going to do that right now. So I've done that uh, and let's go over to scene B. So we can just click it in the corner here and you can see scene B by default has the 10 outputs and the headphone mix. So we're going to switch this to outputs again, just like we did on the first one. And I did have levels put up here when I started this. So just I keep my levels all the way up at zero, as you can see. Um, and we're going to click the knob again to save it. Make sure we save it before we switch back to scene A again. And now they should both be saved. So scene A, when I click on it, is the 12 outputs, and scene B has the 12 outputs. So hopefully that helps you out.